BMW has been on a roll lately in India. 2022 was its best year ever for sales. And now, just in January of 2023, it plans on launching five new cars. One of the more important ones of these is the new 3 Series Grand Limousine Facelift. It's one of BMW's best seller car in its segment. So today we'll just take you through all the changes that have been made to it with this update. Now with this being a facelift or a life cycle intervention as BMW likes to call it, most of the changes to the 3 Series are minimal and they're centered largely at least on the outside around the front of the new sedan. So what you see is a slimmer, more condensed sort of LED light cluster. It's got sharper elements, although we like that purer design of the earlier one a bit better, but this is the new look for all BMWs and that clearly shows with these inverted LDRLs that have become a signature throughout the range. Moving on, you have a slightly reworked grille. It's marginally larger, wider, but a more distinct change are these double sort of ridges that you find there. So it looks a bit more distinctive than before. Now coming on below, you notice that again, the new more angular look that BMW is going for with its cars is seen here as well. And you see that in this really large central air dam with these sort of cuts here. They're not functional, at least these ones aren't, but they give you a greater sense of sportiness, especially with this honeycomb effect here. What is functional though are these air inlets and this sort of more angular structure again. And then you have these air inlets, which actually help improve aero efficiency. Expectedly, the side profile remains largely unchanged. You get those same smart 18-inch alloys with their staggered sizes and the silhouette is quite cohesive for an extended wheelbase car, retaining the typical rear-drive sedan proportions quite convincingly. Some minor changes to the rear round things off like the new bumper with its more prominently shaped ornamental diffuser. Now the changes to the inside of the 3 Series facelift, the Grand Limousine, are again minimal but fairly significant. Now the most immediate one of these is this giant new iDrive 8 touchscreen infotainment system where you have this really big 14.9 inch touchscreen and this 12.3 inch instrument cluster. And yeah, it shares this layout with the electric i4 now and that has brought with it some changes to the center console as well. For example, you have these wider vents now with the climate function now in the screen and these smaller simplified set of buttons here for the audio controls and the volume. And then when you come down here, you notice that the really nice stubby gear lever that you've come to expect in BMW is gone now. You have this sort of rocker dial, which isn't quite that nice to use, but it's the new way, so we'll just have to live with it. Now, as for this instrument cluster, it's got those really sharp, crisp graphics. There's a bit more information now than earlier from the earlier system. And yeah, you do have some level of customization now too, in terms of the way the layouts are. So it's a slight improvement from what was there earlier. Again, there's not a lot of change that you can make in terms of the information that's shown here, but yeah, it's a step up from what was there earlier. Now, as for this touchscreen, we like it with its positives and negatives in much the same way as in the electric i4. Now, a good thing is that a lot of the frequent functions aren't in this, like it's in the i4, for example, you don't control the region and so on, because this isn't an EV, so there's no region and so on to control from here. But yeah, the climate menus are in here, so which is a bit of an issue while on the move, you know, checking the fan speed and so on on the move is difficult. But other than that, you get used to it quite quickly because the layout and the interfaces are very much like a smartphone. So you have these widgets in the home screen, which control all the main functions. You can always change them up. And then you have icons here, which control all the other functions of the car. So it's easy to get used to, but again, we would have liked it if it was a bit quicker in its responses. And if, say, the Android Auto connection was a touch more stable, we found that our phone would sometimes just disconnect automatically from Android Auto, which was not very nice. But other than that, it's a big step up from that small 10-inch screen that the 3 Series had before this. Now with this facelift, even the 320 LD, you have it in the sportier and sport trim. And that comes with a few changes that you didn't find in the diesel 3 Series Grand Limousine before this. Most notable of these are these M sort of enhancements. So you get this M steering wheel. It's exactly like what you would expect in a BMW large nice to hold. You get this headliner, which is again an M-specific sort of enhancement. And then you get this lattice pattern here in the center console, which looks quite nice. It's nice and textured and it does uplift the cabin, which is otherwise quite plush and luxurious. And this does give it that slight sporty touch. The rest of the cabin remains unchanged. So the materials and finishes are about the best you can find in a car like this. 
You sit low with the large wheels at just the right position and there's still good visibility. Now the 3 Series Grand Limousine is a big draw because of this rear seat. So you have that added 110mm of wheelbase which has added 74mm to the legroom. So it is the same as before and to be honest the experience has remained largely unchanged here with the facelift. We would have liked to have seen sunshades, we pointed that out the last time we drove it, that really is a miss. Especially, you know, considering this is aimed at the rear seat passenger, so that's still missing. But you get a separate climate zone here, this large sunroof, the seats again, very comfortable as they always have been, good underside support. The legroom, like I said, is quite a lot. And you also get these now soft cushions, which are really nice. And of course, there's this armrest which again doesn't have too many functions, it could have done with maybe say some audio controls and so on, but it isn't there, but for what is there, it's fine. The facelifted BMW 3 Series Grand Limousine continues mechanically unchanged with the same powertrain options. So you have the 320LD as seen here with its 2 litre diesel making 190 PS and 400 Newton meter as well as the 330LI with its 2 litre petrol with its 258 PS and 400 Newton meter. Both pair with the ZF 8 speed automatic. Now as you would expect the 3 series in this facelifted form drives nearly identically to the way it used to before. Although change with this update is that the 320LD now also gets all those M Sport enhancements. Which means that this diesel, this 2-litre diesel, actually sounds quite nice now. We've never experienced this version of the 3 Series before, even in grand limousine form. And, of course, it's always been very silent and refined. But now there's, if you can hear it, there's quite a nice rumble to the engine, quite unlike a diesel. In fact, it's probably one of the better sounding diesels that we've actually heard in a very long time, which is surprising and it's a really nice touch. It really goes with that whole BMW sports sedan theme. And to add to that, there's for some reason a launch control function. It's fun as usual. So this is how you engage launch control in the new 320LD. You put it in sport, you switch the ESC to traction, gearbox is in the S mode, your foot is hard on the brake, hard on the accelerator, launch control active. Although how much you'll use it in a day-to-day -day setting is debatable, but it's there and it's something to brag about and it really does work well. As for this motor's performance, you have the clean linear wave of diesel torque, which means that in any situation, the 320LD has a good reserve of performance on offer. It also revs quite briskly for a diesel, which is great on a highway cruise. Although if you truly want to unlock the 3 Series' engaging performance, the 330LI is the better pick. That said, it's hard to argue with an 11 kmpl city and near 15 kmpl highway mileage number. Now the M Sport enhancements seem to have also slightly reworked the ride and handling character of the diesel 3 series. We've experienced this already in the petrol 330LI, but this is the first time that we are experiencing it with the diesel. So the gearbox, in the earlier 3 series, we drove the luxury line one. It seemed a bit less alert to downshifts, it wanted to hold on to a higher gear, which this gearbox, at least in this tune, doesn't do it as often. And of course, you always have that S mode, so when you want those really quick, you know, shifts with a real kick in the back, that's always there. But even in the D mode, it's a bit more alert, it's a bit more on the boil, so to speak. And the same can be said of the suspension setup also. It's better balanced we feel so earlier in the luxury line 330 li that we drove it would wallow a lot over you know a dip on a highway which it doesn't do or does less now which is a really nice balance that's been found we think so say on a winding stretch of road even with the long wheelbase the 320 ld is quite a nice car to drive as you would expect a 3 series to be the facelifted BMW 3 Series Grand Limousine then manages to bridge the fine line in this transitionary phase for the brand. Yes, it's taking on a new look and tech bits that will define BMWs of the future, but that fine symmetry between performance, engagement and comfort that makes any 3 Series so appealing is still fully intact.